Hello, my name is Dr. Scott Ruslinski. I'm a faculty member in the Theology Department. During the week of April 24th through the 28th, the Loyal Academy Ignatian Service Learning Program will host a symposium that will create an opportunity in which students, Loyola faculty, and outside community partners will participate in presenting, responding to, and dialoguing around the key themes and questions related to the call that is at the center of our Jesuit mission, that is, to form women and men for meaningful lives of leadership and service in imitation of Jesus Christ. This year's symposium is entitled, Putting Love into Action, and each day will comprise different venues and topics that will raise awareness around social issues and celebrate the service work of our ISL students. On the day that you are scheduled to participate in this symposium, your class will be attending an encounter with two Nicaraguan stateless persons and asylum seekers who have been ex exiled from Nicaragua and are now living in the United States. Since 2018, the government of Nicaragua has cracked down on political dissent, protests, and democratic processes. Over the last five years, thousands of citizens have been arrested for speaking out against the government. Over 500 have been killed in these protests and close to 3,000 have been injured. On February 9th of this year, the governor, government of Nicaragua stripped 222 of those thousands of political prisoners of their citizenship and sent them on an airplane to Washington, D.C. With the help of the Jesuit Refugee Service, I have worked closely with the de facto organizer of the 222 for their well-being and their support. Moises Astorga is a former assistant to the Supreme Court of Nicaragua. He holds a PhD in law and will be one of the two guests who will be meeting with us on our symposium day. He will be speaking about his experience and especially his faith and how his faith has helped him throughout these troubling times. In preparation for this encounter, there are three things that I ask of you. Number one, watch the following five minute video, which will provide further context to the social situation in Nicaragua, specifically how the Catholic Church is being persecuted in Nicaragua. Number two, bring an iPad and ear pods or headphones to the presentation since our guests will be zooming in. And please generate two to three questions for our speakers. Thank you, and I look forward to this encounter.